A bill of materials in AutoCAD Mechanical is the database end of the AutoCAD Mechanical Intelligent Objects. So what I've done in the part reference exercise is I've linked these two parts here. Now they have automatically been added to the bill of materials. So if I go to annotate here and go to BOM, bill of materials, like so, and come into the drawing, it says specify bill of materials to create or set current. Now if you look down at the command line there, you can see the main. Specify BOM to create or set current main. So all I'm going to do there is just press enter and that will give me the BOM that I've got. There's my conveyor bracket and my conveyor bracket column. I'm actually going to right click here and rename that as conveyor and make sure you spell it right obviously conveyor bracket and then I'm going to put A double S Y short for assembly and press enter. So that is now the name of my bill of materials. You can see that there, conveyor bracket assembly. Now what I can do there, I'll just click and drag a little and you can see that. It just means that you can see conveyor bracket assembly like so. So there's my two parts of my conveyor bracket. Now if I go to structured here or view options, I can actually display the assembly hierarchy if there is one with a separator. I haven't actually got one at the moment so I'll just cancel that like so. What I can do as well here, if I click here assembly properties though, the description is my conveyor, remember to type it properly, so it's my conveyor bracket assembly like so. Now the standard I'm using is ISO, so I'll put ISO in there again, metric ISO. The material is steel and measurement is not going to be in place here because we're doing units each. So I'll OK that and that's all added as well. So what I've done is I've set up my bill of materials there. So I'll click on settings and you recognize this now? The bomb settings for ISO, it's the same as what we had when we set up our part references. Basically this is database information. So you've got things like properties, captions, data type, what value it'll be, what precision, do you lock it, do you sum it, do you add it up for example, caption alignment, center, value alignment, center, left, middle center and so on. Now I'm just going to OK that and leave it at the default and I'm also going to OK that now as well. Now because I've got part references here if I go to view and switch on my mechanical browser you'll see now look there's my conveyor bracket assembly and I can open that and I can go straight to it from my mechanical browser when I'm using structure in AutoCAD Mechanical. Now if I click here and right click I can do a new component like so and the new component name will be let's say bracket and the view name will be top so I press enter there select objects for the new component view well that's going to be these objects right here like so and also that there. So I'll right click, I'll also select the hole through the bracket and then the base point there will go with the center so it's a shift and a right click and center of that circle right there. So there's my bracket top. Now conveyor bracket assembly if I go there right click open doesn't change anything you'll notice but what you'll notice here look conveyor bracket now has items 2 and 3. Can you see that? So it's item 2 and 3 there. So it's listed them and numbered them and given them a quantity. So this will start to build up. Now I've got a very basic one here but if you've got a very complicated mechanical drawing this is where you can start actually basically iterating every single part of your assembly or your design. So I'll just cancel that for now. So you can see there how your BOM, B-O-M or Bill of Materials can be built up utilizing your part references in your drawing.